I'm Jake Bruton, and today on the Build Show Network, we're going to talk about how we air seal the Simpson entry door. Let's do it now. So here at our hilltop house, we have a very pretty Douglas fir uh, wood and glass door from Simpson. This will get a uh, clear finish. Stay tuned. In a few weeks, we'll have a video about our uh, painter finishing this because he's got some good techniques that I think are fantastic to share. But today, we're not going to talk about necessarily how pretty the door is. We're going to talk about how we're air sealing this door. Uh, and you could apply this air sealing method to pretty much any steel entry door uh, or fiberglass or wood entry door on the market today that has an aluminum sill and a regular uh, frame like this. So we took Simpson's slab and side light and we had our lumber yard, our mill workshop, go ahead and put these in a standard frame like we would get with a steel insulated entry door. We had them leave the uh, brick mold off because we want to be able to tape to the to our uh, uh, air control layer and uh, then we have our aluminum sill that's a pretty standard detail. What we're going to do is similar to the windows on this project but different. So if you recall a while back we talked about the window installation here. We're taping the top and two sides of the window leaving the bottom open and then all of our air seal is on the interior side. That's because we're connecting our air barrier on the jam to the window and we're leaving the front open so that it can drain. That's a fantastic method. The problem is we don't have a sloped sill here because the door needs to be supported. We have flooring on the inside instead of a back dam. So how do we do that? We either have some big gloop of stuff on the inside on the bottom and we're letting potentially air and water to that point or we have to face seal it. So this is going to be a face seal install. And the reason we're okay with that is we're under about a eight foot overhang here or a seven foot overhang here. And so this door is probably never gonna see water. Uh, we still have taken our time and made sure that all of our tapes applied well and all of our details are on point, but this thing's far enough back that it's very rarely even gonna see water. So let's talk about that air and water management. We've done the same thing as on the windows here. We push the frame of the door, 3 8 proud from our zip sheathing, and this is uh, tape, zip tape covering our uh, Batten UV rain screen. So our trim will go on here, and our siding will come over and fasten as well, and then our siding and trim can fasten and we still have a rain screen behind it. We have a little divot in our tape between the frame and our uh, rain screen so that we have a little bit of a drainage plane between the two. And we've taped the sides and the head and we've done that detail on those three sides. We're watertight on those three sides. So then we just have to worry about how we're dealing with uh, what little moisture might get down below or splash back and air sealing. So if you're familiar with the aluminum uh, sills, they're not a solid block of aluminum. There's fins that grow in height to support the, uh, the angle of this aluminum. We happen to have one of those fins hanging down low enough that we're literally just gonna take a bead of liquid flash and run all the way across and then cap it on the end here. That'll connect everything and we don't have to try to take uh, a piece of tape and seal it to that quarter inch bead there. Uh, that gives us the ability that we are now water managed on the side and water managed below. We're pulling it out to the face. I think I would find a different way to do this if this door was exposed in a two-story walkout or something like that. But here, we're able to scale it back a little bit and because it's a little finicky, Aero Building's gonna take care of it instead of our uh, framing com contractor or siding contractor or anything like that. We've taken a, an appropriate approach for the situation and we've considered the install and we're okay with changing our methods a little bit. We have water management, we have air management, and uh, next step on this door is get it finished and then do a blower door test and check our install. So make sure you sign up for the newsletter. Matt, Matt Reisinger sends a, an email every Friday. He talks about all the content that Braid, Braid, <laughs> Brent, Wade, Steve, and himself and I are putting up every week. It's awesome stuff. I learn from those guys every week. I'm super happy to be involved. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. It's jake.bruton. Till next time on The Build Show, thanks for watching.